Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the one of the um, Elite Trading Group program. My name is Gospar uh, Asia Hedge. I'm a life coach and I'm a forex trader. And to the glory of God, we've had a whole lot of students that have graduated from this academy. So I'm glad to have all of you. Sincerely, I'm so happy to have you. Now, what is the aim of this program? The aim of this program is to teach you forex to the fullest, so that you can enjoy technical analysis, you can enjoy what fundamental analysis. Now, if you know you don't have an idea of Forex, there's no problem, because we are going to be starting from the definition of Forex, and we'll get into technical analysis. Are you okay? So welcome one more time, I sincerely appreciate you all. So what do you think we'll be doing for this program? The first thing I want to introduce to you is the activities that will take place for these four days. The activities that will take place exactly for these four days. We are going to be having day one, day two, and day three. I repeat, we'll be having day one, day two, and what? Day three, and day four. For day one, we'll look into introduction to Forex. Sorry, let me show my screen. We look into the introduction to forex trading. Talk about exchange rate, fundamental analysis, technical analysis. This is what we do for the very first day. For the second day, which you should not miss, that's tomorrow. Talk about pips, lots, leverage, brokers, platforms, and charting softwares, types of traders, technical analysis. Therefore, tomorrow, sorry. Day three, we talk about MetaGuida 4, Android and desktop version. How to use MetaGuida 4. How to open trades using MetaGuida 4. Then we'll dive into partial closing, trade stopping, swing trading. Last day, day four, we'll talk about how to use, manage your trade, the use of my FSB. Do you know the advantage of this use of my FSB? I will also dive into, from the use of my FSB, I will also go into NFP news. How to trade the news. I'll show you all of all these things. Investing from Forex Factory. We look into all of all these things. So sit back while you enjoy all of all this. Sit back while you enjoy all of this. So, what are we doing for day one today? Day one, let's go straight into introduction to Forex. What's Forex? Forex simply means foreign exchange and is the largest financial market where currencies are bought, sold, and exchanged one for another, unlike stock markets. That do centralized exchange and transactions are performed over the counter. Participants participate, or participants trade with, um, okay? We have the, okay, participants, they trade worldwide network of world banks, brokers, and a whole lot of them. Now, the truth about it is the amount that is dropped, the daily, um, the average amount that is dropped on for, or in the financial institutes is simply $5 billion. The question is, how much will you and I profit for? Or how much are we going to make in a day? Like today, the glory of God, I have made some amount for myself. So how much are you going to make? Now, if you look at it very well. Forex is open 245, and it is the major financial centers. Okay, major financial centers are based across almost every time zone London, New York, Tokyo, Zurich, Frankfurt, Hong Kong, Singapore, Paris, Sydney. At what specific time are we looking at? The trading sections are Asia, European, and America. If you look at it, most of all your currency pairs. They are always Euro USD, um, um, AUD USD. US is always involved. For European aspect, Euro GPP. Um, you can have another currency pair like Euro um, AZD. That's Europe and um, New Zealand dollar. You know, these are the major such Asia. You have a yuan, um, you have a um, yen, you have um, a yen, yuan. China and what Japanese. So these are the trading sections we are actually looking at. Are you class? What exactly do you do in the forest market? 
in the forex market, you either buy or you sell. I repeat, in the forex market, you either buy or what you sell. Look at the green animal. That is the bull, and the bull is actually the one that the buyers is more or less like the symbol for buyers. And if you look at the beer, the beer is the symbol for whom? For the sellers. Are you? Okay? So that's exactly what all of all these things are. Now, who trades for it? Have you sat down and asked yourself who trades for it? Now, the people that trade for it, they are one. We have the, the central banks, which is Central Bank of Nigeria. We have the European Central Bank. We have Bank of England. We have Bank of America. We have Bank of Canada. All of all these people, they trade for it. Now, can you tell the subordinate bank? They are the commercial and investment bank, which are Echo Bank, Eastwood Bank, Polaris Bank, Guarantee Trust Bank, JP Morgan. All of all these people, they trade for it. Are you kidding? And the beauty about forex trading is that if, uh, okay, who else can also trade that before I even get to that? They are the investment funds, the investment uh, multinational corporations, and multinational corporations, very good example of it is all those firms you see that they trade forex. And once you see them, they trade forex, you notice that they tell you that bring your capital into the market and a certain amount will be what will be given to you. Who else is liable to trade for it? Individual investors. Who are the individual investors? The individual investors are you and I. For someone like me now, how much do I have in the forest market compared to what central bank they are putting into? Are you okay? So individual investors have the right to trade in the forest market. The truth about it is, in those days, there are no chance for us to trade the financial markets. Are you okay? So what now happened was, Recently, brokers now came in. Like for day three, I'll give you the analysis of all these broken firms. You see MetaTrader 4. MetaTrader 4 was designed 2005. MetaTrader 5 was designed 2013. This thing just came out recently. So virtually, somebody who, who has used MetaTrader 4 could probably have been in market for 16 years. Are you with me? So all of all these things came out for you and I to have access to trade the markets, are you doing? All of all these things came out for you and I to have the access to trade the financial markets, are you doing? So let's proceed. Now, look at my flowchart class. You will see some things. You see that there's central bank, there's major bank, there's market makers, there's retail traders. Now, if you look at it very well, the central banks are the core bodies that moves the financial market. I just remember those days when my mentor would tell me that the big guns have what have moved the market. Are you with me? So central banks are the major body that that uh, pull the market. Who else do you think they affect the market? The commercial banks. Commercial banks are um, Guarantee Trust Bank. Sorry, the major banks, which are GT Bank, Zenith Bank, First Bank. There is no bank that doesn't trade for us. Except if there's not every sense to show back some banks don't trade for it. Too. But there's no bank that don't trade for it. That's why you look at it very well. You wonder how come banks they have some funds to sponsor more. I, I, I'm not saying they don't make money from all the SMS alerts and who they do. They do. But they are major bodies that handle these financial markets and they trade it perfectly. If you are very good in this kind of business, you can trade for people, you can trade for companies. Are you doing? And this is a very big chance for you. Are you doing? So let's proceed. Now, there are two things I have on my screen. We have the just the topic is just currencies, and it is actually split into two sections: the base currency and the code currency. Now listen. The first listed currency of the currency pair is called the base currency, and the second currency is called the code currency. Currency pair compares the value of one currency to another. I you doing? Currency pair compares the value of one currency to another. I you doing? Now listen to us. Look at my screen so clearly, you will see currency pairs. You know, a pair of slippers. 
A pair of slippers is a combination of left and right. Are you with me? Now, when you say currency pair, it means we have two currencies that are combined together. And the first listed currency is the base currency. A very good example of that is when you go to show my screen. This is Euro USD. If you look under it, this is base currency and this is code currency. The first listed currency is called the base currency. Why the other currency is called the code currency. Now, the next one is GPP AUD. GPP, GPP is Great Britain pounds. AUD is Australian dollar. That's the symbol for Australian dollar. Are you with me? So GPP is more or less like Great Britain pounds. You know, in, in Britain, when they spend pounds, they are cobalt, just like we have cobalt. They are cobalt, there is pence. In US, when they spend dollar, they are cobalt, there is cents. Are you with me? So now, Australian dollar. Now, in Forex, there are so many things you trade. You trade stocks, futures, indices, CFD. You trade commodities, you trade crypto, and you trade metals. That's why if you see, you see something like XAU. I'm sorry, I'm not intimidating here. For those that do chemistry in school, the symbol for um, gold is what's AU. And the symbol for, um, for silver is AG. I don't know. I think there are about three major metals in first. Like I think I'm they call polonium or polonium. So I know it's a metal in chemistry. Are you think? So all of all these are just symbols. In fact, in trading view, you will see that they specify symbol. Are you think? So that's the indication of it. You can trade metals. Many of you here, if you have a life account, you know what I'm saying. Many of you, you trade metals very well. And let me tell you one funny thing about metals. If you are, you are not careful about metals, especially that gold you see gold is very it has very high volume if you i always tell people something you know when people trade they just trade with lack of um, um understanding imagine somebody is having 100 dollars is trading is he has um, three open positions and they are all gold how can you survive that kind of situation number one whenever you are trading a life account the first thing you look at is your margin level if your margin level is less than 100%, that account will burn anytime. Even I discipline myself in such a way that whenever I'm trading, I make sure my margin level is no more than 1,000%. Although 1,000% is still very safe, in the forex market, I discipline myself. I shouldn't be less than 1,000. That is, you must caution yourself. People always feel that it's only gold, gold, gold that the money is. You know, who is telling you that gold, you only make the money from gold? I will tell you tonight that there is another currency pair you can make good money from. Two, I'll tell you two, Euro GPP and GPP AUD. Go and make your research. If you trade $1,000 on it, 10 pips alone will give you $14. Normally, 10 pips on a $1,000 account will just give you $10. But Euro GPP has that what benefit. Are you with me? So you don't own, you should take note of currency pairs that, that you could trade and make good gain from. You, it's not compulsory to trade good. Are you with me? So let's proceed. The next one is exchange rate. Exchange rate is the rate at each one currency to be exchanged for another. And it's regarded as value of one country's currency in relation to another currency. But I believe that one currency will rise against another currency, we buy the strong currency and we sell the weak currency. Another reason why exchange rate moves so fast may be the result of what multi billionaire companies that take large amounts of money into another currency. Let me explain myself. Now, Let's say, who is it that's Mr. Abbas? He wants to go to Japan to buy spare parts. He's, you know, he's a car dealer and the man specifies in major things. So what would the man do? The man would simply go to um, Japan and he deposits, you know, in Japan, what they spend here is yen. So he deposits their money in Japan. Once that deposit is made, guess what? The man is entitled to what to get what he wants. But guess what? He has moved the market. Are you with me? He has moved the market. So now look at it. Look at what has been happening in Afghanistan. Let's say Afghanistan, they even have their own currency in the forest market. I'm assuming. Who will go to Afghanistan right now to go and deposit money? Is there anybody that, that will, I want to buy um, um, um I want to buy weapons from Afghanistan? So I'm going there, I want to go and deposit money. Go now. You know what is happening exactly. Are you with me? So with all of all these things, if a country's economy is good, what happens? The rates will increase. Look at what happened in the US on Friday. There's something they call NFP, non-farm payroll. I'll teach you that on day four. 
whenever that news comes in, that news comes into the um, American market every 1.30, of every first Fridays, 1.30 p.m. Once that news comes in, what happened? What's the essence of that? That news is to tell, is the market high? Is, is there, is there a, um, a, a, what's the employment rate in the country? And what and I've noticed it about NFP is always going good for them. And whenever it comes in, there's a great move in the market. If you don't understand how to trade, you will fail in that kind of situation. Are you with me? So that is that. I'll teach you that for the report. Let's not be too hasty. The next one. Oh, sorry. I think I need to quickly do something about it. And the short come with me. Let's do some things on my board. Let's say I have Euro GPT. Let's say I have Euro GPT. If you know you are understanding what I'm doing, just type two in the chat box. You know I understand what Mr. Gross Power is doing. Just type two in the chat box while I proceed with this. Let's say Euro GPT gives me an exchange rate score. I'm assuming, of course, I know it's not this. Gives me an exchange rate value of two, one, two, five. Okay, thank you. I'm seeing the ones already. It's on board. No, 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 don't let me do this mathematics like this. Thank you. I'm seeing some of it. Let's see. I have Euro was 500, which I know is not possible. Or it might even be GPT is 800. If you know you understand what I'm doing in this class, can you just type one, two in the chat box? God bless you, Mr. Paul. God bless you, Mr. Alton. Now, let's say, do your mathematics. Zero, five into, five into, sorry, eight into five. Eight into five, that should give you 0 0.83. Let me do your mathematics very well. 0 0.83. Let's say Mr. Paul calls me, Mr. Gospel, Euro has increased in the market. What, what should I do? When Euro increases in the market, let's say Euro now increased to 600. 600 slash 800. Zeros cancel zeros. Two year three, two year four. How you think? So, um, four goes into this. Four into this should give you 0 0.75. That's way too close. And it means that we should check this 0 0.75. Okay, now let, let me do this again. When you say um, when you say fire rate divided by eight hundred, because it's supposed to be higher, fire rate divided by eight hundred. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. That's zero point six two five. Thank you. Zero point six two five. Six two five. So let's say zero point six two five is zero. So this zero point six two five. It means that. The next one is now. If this has increased, what are you supposed to do in the forest market class? You're supposed to buy this currency. Here. Why are you buying? You are buying because the base currency has increased. Yes, if base currency has increased, then vice versa. I didn't want to capitalize on the quote currency, the quote currency should be used. Are you okay? So the same thing applies to euro. It's, if euro is now 400. At zero point five zero zero. So that's zero point five zero zero. So it means euro are dropped in the price market. What do you do? You sell that. 
Why are you selling that? Because the base currency has dropped. Why the quote has increased? Are you agree? Why you buy the other one? Because the base currency increased and the quote has uh, reduced. Don't worry, I'll give you further analysis on all of these things. Are you so that is that. My next phase, don't worry, class. I'm going to drop the PDF for you and I'll drop my video for you. Please, the recorded video, please do me a favor by subscribing to my YouTube channel, please. Are you me? Please do, if, do me a favor by subscribing to what? To the YouTube channel. And the PDF, don't, I will, I'll give you people that tonight. That one is very, very clear, sir. You may want, you may want to increase your voice. Okay, okay. I don't know what you mean by that, but maybe you are saying that to increase my voice. I will do that. There's no problem. All right. So that's that. So let's proceed. The last one is fundamental and technical analysis. Fundamental analysis is a way of looking at the forest market, analyzing economic, social, and political forces that may affect currency prices. The idea behind this type of analysis is that if a country's currency or future economic outlook is good, its currency should strengthen. If you know you can hear me clearly, can you just type one in the chat box? You know you can hear me clearly, type one in the chat box. Now, the better shape a country's economy is, the more foreign businesses and investors will invest in that country. I said that previously, that if your economy is very good, people will come there and invest. And as they invest, what is happening to the economy? The economy is growing. That is exactly what is happening to the US. There is more investors in the country so everything about them is what's boosting. Are you with me? So now for, for technical fundamental analysis, there is a way you can trade the news. In fact, there are three sites you can use in trading it easily, which I know one, my Facebook, investing.com, Forex Factory. I will show you all of all these things before. I promise you on that. Are you with me? I will show you all of all these things in day four. So that is that about for me. Sometimes you see that some people say I'm a fundamental analyst. I'm not a technical analyst. Hello, why can't you be everything? You can be a fundamental analyst. You can be what? A technical analyst. There's no problem about that. Let's proceed. The last one for today is technical analysis. Technical analysis is the study of price pattern. On a particular asset, and there are many ways, and there okay, sorry, there are many ways to identify patterns in the market. But most technicians will focus on the following: one, they will look at the joint tools, horizontal line, trend lines, Fibonacci level, uh, moving average. See, if you are going to be consistent with this class, <laughs> I will teach you more than this one. They are saying, I will I will teach you more than all this you see. See, people used to say, I used to see some funny things people say. They would say Forex is gambling. That, um, uh, see, do you know what I call gambling? Do you know what I call gambling? Gambling is when you are not sure of what you are doing. I repeat, gambling is when you are not sure of what you are, you are doing. For instance, you enter, you see a long candle is going up for a buy, you enter as a buy. And you see a long candle is coming down as a sell, you enter as a sell. That's gambling. But when you are not gambling, it means that you are sure of the strategies and indicators you are using. When you are not gambling, it means that what you are sure of the indicators and the strategies you are using. Are you doing? So many people make that mistake. You see, they always say for instance, gambling is a big lie. Plus, I withdraw from it. This one is not as if I'm saying this, but my mouth is sweet. I withdraw. And in fact, as dollar is even increasing, I'm, I'm happy every day. Because right now, up forest rates, if you want to withdraw from up forest right now, it's 490. I just remember in those days, how much you used to withdraw these things? Well, as dollars, even if you have dollars in your account, nobody will want to withdraw. Why? Because as it's increasing, you are making your profits. It's just like crypto. You see what is happening. As it's increasing, you are making your profit. Nobody wants to withdraw his dollars. Are you with me? So that is that. Thank you very much, class. Like I said, I'll drop the PDF and I'll send video to you. Now, I want to permit questions. If you know you have a question, unmute yourself and ask a question. If you know you have a question, unmute yourself and ask a question. Please, the reason why I employ you to 
subscribe to that YouTube channel I'll drop to my videos. Videos I might be dropping might not necessarily be what I'm teaching in this beginner's class. I can drop you some more, drop some other things can I, that can help you in your trading life. Are you with me? So that's why I advise you to watch that video and subscribe to that channel. I also drop a video. Please ask your questions if you have any questions. Ask your questions if you have any questions. I'm waiting. Please ask your questions if you have any questions. Please. If you have any question, ask a question, please. You can unmute yourself if you want to. You can unmute yourself if you want to. All right. If there's no question, thank you very much, everybody. See you all tomorrow. Okay. Mr. Baba today. Hello. Yeah, I'm with you, Mr. Baba today. Uh, uh, I, I really I appreciate uh, this teaching. Actually, I, I, I joined late. But uh, at first, when I joined, I think I joined about uh, around uh, 8 20 or, or so. So I, I, it was uh, wonderful what, what I actually missed. So the thing it was uh, your voice was so good. But since uh, the past uh, uh, 10 minutes, I could not I barely uh, can hear you. So I don't know if it's uh, probably. Probably you will use your voice over there. I don't know if I can be set my, my phone. But then I don't know if uh, this thing is on a record that you can just uh, share for those of us who come later or like and uh, actually just the face of what you have actually done. Do you know that mm -hmm. as you are talking, sir, you are breaking seriously? Other people can testify. I guess it's a natural problem from your side. But guess what, sir? I am going to drop the video on my okay. YouTube channel. So I will send the link to the platform. Okay. For you to tonight before 10 o'clock, okay. that and I also drop the PDF I use for tonight, so okay. you don't have anything to fear, sir. Are you okay? Don't worry, don't have anything to fear. Are you okay? I will drop everything tonight, okay? Okay, yes, sir. Okay, thank, thank you very much. I, I must commend you, sir. The, the teaching is wonderful. I mean, the little time I've been able to thank it's, you, it's so wonderful, much, sir. I really thank appreciate it. Thank you, sir. I sincerely appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. okay, all right. Thank you very much, class. Some people are just coming now. God will help us. But please, let's try to be uh, to mm -hmm. be available tomorrow. Tomorrow's class is even more important than today's class. Tomorrow's class is even more important yeah. than today's class. Thank you very much, everybody. See you tomorrow and good night. Bye for now. Yeah. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. We can we'll be really anticipating for tomorrow's class. No problem. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sir. Yeah.